Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we delve into the epic tales and timeless truths of the Bible. Have you ever faced a challenge so daunting it felt like a giant standing in your way? Today, we're going to explore the legendary battles against giants like OG and Goliath, and uncover the power of faith that can turn the tide against the mightiest of foes. So, are you ready to see how even the smallest of us can triumph with faith on our side? Let's begin this celestial journey together. The Bible tells many stories where people face big challenges and win. One special story is about the fight with two giant leaders. First, there is Og, the formidable Amorite king of Bashan, whose defeat by the Israelites under Moses' command is a tale of divine intervention and military strategy. He was known to be scary because he and his land were very tough, but Moses led the Israelites to fight against Og, and with God's help, they won. This victory was more than just winning a fight, it showed that God was on their side. By defeating OG, the Israelites got his rich land and felt more hopeful and strong as they got ready to move to the land that God had promised them. The Bible describes how the Israelites, led by Moses, faced huge challenges but were promised by God that they would win. The story tells us that they fought against OG, a giant king from a race known as the Rephaim. OG was famous for his size and strength, and he lived in a land protected by 60 strong cities. But the Israelites conquered all these cities, showing everyone that God's power was with them. OG's big iron bed is often mentioned to show how big he was and how important this victory was for the Israelites. Before fighting OG, the Israelites had to deal with Sion, another strong king who wouldn't let them pass through his land. With God's help, they also defeated Sion. These battles were more than just fights, they were signs that God was helping the Israelites and that they were meant to be his special people. This gave them the strength and belief they needed to keep going and reach the land that God had promised them. The second giant of biblical renown is Goliath, a Philistine warrior whose duel with the young David has become emblematic of the triumph of faith and courage over brute strength. Goliath was very big, more than 9 feet tall, and wore heavy armor made of bronze. He looked scary with all his weapons, and he was a symbol of how strong the Philistine army was. David, who was just a young boy and not a soldier, fought Goliath with only a sling and stones, and most importantly, his belief in God. David's win over Goliath is a very important story because it shows that with faith and smart thinking, even the biggest and toughest problems can be beaten. This event is also important because it was the beginning of David's journey to becoming the king of Israel and bringing the people together. In the Bible, OG and Goliath are like huge challenges that seem too big to handle. They represent chaos and stand in the way of moving forward. When they were defeated, it showed some important ideas from the Bible, that having faith can lead to success, that God's help is crucial, and that it's possible to win against very tough situations. These stories have been told for a long time because they inspire people. They teach us about being brave, having faith, and believing in God's strength. At their core, the stories of OG and Goliath are more than just tales of fights. They are full of deeper meanings that show the hard times the Israelites went through as they tried to make a home in the Promised Land. These stories tell us that with God on your side, no enemy is too strong to beat. They remind us that being faithful and strong-willed is key when facing big problems. These lessons have been important for many people, helping them to understand that with faith and perseverance, they can overcome any obstacle. The story of David and Goliath is a famous one from the Bible. It's about how even the smallest person can beat a big enemy if they have faith and courage. Here's what happened. In a place called Elah, two armies were stuck. They couldn't fight each other. Then, a big and strong warrior named Goliath from the Philistine side started to scare the Israelite soldiers. For 40 days, he dared them to send someone to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. But no one was brave enough to do it. That is, until David showed up. David was just a young boy who looked after sheep. He wasn't there to fight. His dad, Jesse, had sent him to bring food to his brothers and find out how they were doing. But when David saw how scared everyone was of Goliath, he decided to do something about it. He couldn't understand why no one was standing up to Goliath, especially because Goliath was disrespecting their god. When David said he would fight Goliath, it confused and worried King Saul and the Israelites. David was small and didn't have any armor or weapons. But David wasn't scared. He knew that his faith in God was stronger than any weapon. He told them about how he had protected his sheep from lions and bears, not because he was strong, but because God was with him. So, with just his sling and some stones, David went to fight Goliath. He didn't take any armor or weapons from Saul. The fight was over quickly. David used his sling to hit Goliath in the forehead with a stone. Goliath fell down, and David proved that being strong isn't just about muscles. It's about having faith and believing in God. David's win against Goliath taught a lot of important lessons. It showed that anyone can be brave if they have faith. It also showed that it's important to face your problems, like David did, instead of waiting for someone else to do it. The story also teaches that trusting in God can give you confidence and help you face big challenges. 
and it reminds us to remember and share our wins, no matter how small they might seem. They can give hope and strength to others who are facing their own challenges. So, the story of David and Goliath isn't just about a brave shepherd boy. It's a story about the power of faith and the belief that with God, anything is possible. It encourages people to trust in God when they're facing tough times, because the fight is really God's, not ours. As we wrap up today's celestial tale, remember, like David, you too have the strength to face the giants in your life. What giants are you battling today? How can you harness the power of faith to overcome them? Share your thoughts and join the conversation below. Don't forget to subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more inspiring stories that remind us, with faith, courage, and God's guidance, no challenge is too great. Until next time, keep looking up and facing your giants with confidence.